exalted to God. If you're wasting time, if you're idle with time, if you don't do nothing with your time, then God, why would he waste life on a person that don't give life? Amen. See, we are life givers. Amen. When I come by you, if you're down and depressed, my job is to lift you up. Amen. This is why I came by you. Amen. Don't always think you connect with somebody just something for yourself, especially if it's the opposite. You see a man or you see a woman and they look good or they down or whatever, you're attracted to them. Mm -hmm. You think it's all about sex or it's all about that's your man or that's your woman. No, 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 not necessary. Amen. Amen. God wants you to see that because they need you to lift them up. Amen. This ain't about you. Amen. It's about what he has given you to do what you need to take care of his people. The vision of this house, we're going to start saying it, but the shorter version of the vision of this house is what? What's the short version? And he's supposed to make disciples. Amen. All means necessary. Amen. The short version of this house, the vision is to win souls, make disciples. All means necessary. Amen. You win people just like Jesus did. He went by doing good. He went by healing. He went by giving them time. He went by feeding them. He went by telling them what does say is the Lord. Sometimes you don't need to preach to the people. You need to give them something to eat so they can get strong. Amen? Amen. You have helped them get ready to get excited and get some more stuff. Hallelujah. Amen. So we discovered, we said faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And we talked about the different parts of the body. We talked about the visionary being the head. And the problem is, I had told y'all that because of the hand and the feet and the knees, start talking and saying, oh, Pastor, why you say that? You heard that feeling. Oh, Pastor, don't say it like this. Oh, Pastor, don't say it like that. Or something's wrong over here, and Pastor over here trying to business this, this, and that, this, and that. All about people. If I'm all about that, I am off track. Amen. Believe it or not. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if the I look at this now, I want you to understand this clearly because this is God's plan. It's all about vision, not about people. The vision is for the people. Amen. If you got the vision, the people will come and the people will go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can't be looking. See, it's not my responsibility to look and see those chairs empty. It's the responsibility of the sheep. Sheep we got sheep. Amen. If you've been fed here, if you've been loved here, if you've been blessed here, it's your job to go out and tell the people about what God is doing. Truth be told, the young man just came today, people might not be here, but they're still sending people back here. Amen. So they must know something going on up in this camp. Amen? Amen. So if you want to be a part of what's going on, tell somebody. Amen? Amen? Don't worry about, we had a few people come here from Afghanistan. We had a few people come here from some other places. I don't know. I can't even say it. And truth be told, they were getting baptized, getting saved, and people said, oh, they just need papers. I don't care what they need. Amen. When they come by here, they're going to get a word. Amen? Amen? And if they need a paper, praise the Lord. See, I like the, the old days of the church. You remember the old church? If you don't know about it, you see it on movies. Amen. When somebody got in trouble, they ran to the church. Well, they killed somebody, stole something, did something wrong, the church doors were open. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. They ran in the church, and when they, they ran there for safety. They ran in there for protection. They ran there for needs. But church folks now got this thing wrong. Amen. They won't now want this. They just want this. Hey, that's who we are. Hello, somebody. So let's understand what our responsibility is. is to build God's kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we walk by faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. Not by what you see. Amen. Not by what you see. We had a, uh, we were feeding the mother too, and we was giving them things, and people said I was going to give too much. And the people now started listening to people, so I kind of thought about slowing down. And the people came and stole something. And they said, somebody said, see that pastor? Baby, a thief is a thief. I don't care if you go to church or not. Amen. You can't stop a thief from being a thief. All that you can pray for him and ask God to heal him. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. We have to still do the work of the Lord. Amen. You see, if I condemn a thief, 
and not pray for him and tell him God got something better for him and love him anyhow, I might well be like the police system. Just write him off. Just waste the whole life. Don't teach him, I'm loving you beyond, beyond your thief. I'm loving you beyond your prostitution. I'm loving you beyond your drugs. I'm loving you beyond your hat. Now, church will get the attitude. You can't be saved. You got to stop this and stop this. The Bible said, I can do all things through Christ. Who me? The Bible said, come as you are. I already know your mess. Just bring your mess on and let us do something about it. Church folks said, oh, once you get saved, you're supposed to be finished all of that. Oh, I beg your pardon, baby. If a murderer gets saved, saved today, he's still a murderer that needs to be delivered. Hallelujah. All through his will. 
And Jesus died so his will can take place in your life. See, the will is not activated until somebody dies in the natural and in the spirit. Amen? Amen. Now, on the visionary hand, the visionary has the ability to see. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. We walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. So while you trying to look from your knee of what's going on over in foresight, you can't see it. Oh, y'all didn't get that. While you're trying to look at what's going on from your knee and not listening to what the visionary is saying, mm -hmm. you trying to see from your knee what the visionary is able to see from the head. Faith coming back, hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. Walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Some of us go in the room and we see somebody with all kinds of tools over we just all that said, they gon' die. This is a testimony here. This woman here I met a long time ago. They told me, come and pray for this woman because she's gonna die. Yeah. How many years ago was that? Um, five, years. five years ago. No, no. Uh, they said, come and pray for this woman. She's in her restaurant and she's about to die. They never see her. When I walked in that restaurant, they was all gathered around. I told them, do not see her like you look at her right now. See her the way you know her. Before I pray this prayer, I want you to remember what she looked like before she got there. Is that not true? Before I would pray, I told the people around me, and the ones that couldn't do that, I stood in front of them. You see, I didn't know nobody there, so I couldn't be rude like Jesus was at that time. He put people out. He said, get out of the room. I need some faith believers in this room. Well, I pray for this girl. Get out of the room. I couldn't do that. So I had to do it in a way of trying to do it without the knowing. And after I told them to remember how she was, I began to pray for her. The doctors and the people around her had told her she was gone, going. After I pray, I said, now stand up and walk. Five years ago. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer works. It works. But it takes believers. Hallelujah. To believe it. Amen. Because we walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. If God called you to pray for something, all, you might have a dead situation in your life. It might be your bank account. Your bank account might be ugly right now. It might be your husband. He might be a little lazy right now. You might be your wife. It might be your children. But you can't see. The enemy want you to see the what. No, 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 no. Don't look at the what. The why is why God called you to see that so you can pray and say, what thus saith the Lord? Rise and shine. Hallelujah. Amen. Rise up. That's what God wants you to do to be able to see the situation the way, the way he sees, not with these. Amen. With a spiritual eye. Amen? Amen. But as your pastor and visionary, you got to, listen, when you join a church, you join a church, if there's no vision there, don't you join. If you go on a job and they're not going anywhere, just take that job temporarily. You don't need to be on no job. I was in a, a working for a restaurant one time and I came there being the manager. The lady said, how you gonna tell me what to do? I've been here for 38 years. I said, baby, don't tell nobody that. You still frying fries after 38 years? <laughs> 38 years, you ain't even frying chicken? This is a chicken joint, you can't even fry the chicken? <laughs> So don't go nowhere where you can't move up from. Don't get in no relationship. You see that single women and men? If you contact yourself with a person and you ask them, where you going, what you going to be? I don't know. Where you going? I just want to go with you because I love you. I just want us to be together. Be together and do what? Amen. How we going to eat? Amen. What we going to do? Where we going? Amen. How can two walk together unless they agree? Amen. You ain't got no business. You want me to get hooked up? You just about I love you, baby. Love is what love does. Amen. Hello, somebody. Hi. 
And if you don't love yourself, you want me to connect with you? You already tell me, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Jesus. Every day, you don't know? No. Be careful. The enemy, that's, that's the enemy. Yes, the is. enemy is here to kill, steal, and destroy. Amen. And he all means necessary. Yes, that's right. Just like you supposed to be about God's business, winning souls, making disciples, all means necessary. Amen. The enemy always looks for a way to stop you in your track. Anywhere you go, he's there, especially in the church. Jesus. Oh, he loves the church, baby. Yes, yes. He loves to talk about the church, especially the pastor. The pastor was responsible for everything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look at her, she ain't doing this, she ain't doing that, she ain't doing this, she ain't doing that. You better think about why you get why you came here and stick on why you came and stay with that. Because if you start listening to people, when we start flying by you and Jess and flying, walking by you and Limo and moving and talking about building, you be like, ah, 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 yeah, you knew you. You took something and went with it instead of came and got what God has got brought you to get. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The head speaks. The head smells, the head does all of that. But again, how many holes, how many holes in his head? Seven. Seven holes in this head. How many days, got to look what day it was when God said, it is, it, I, I, I'm resting? Seven. It was seven sentences when Jesus said, it is finished. How many bones in the head? Seven. You said, why are you telling me that? Because God had a plan in the beginning. Amen? He planned for you to do something great. Everything you need is already in you. Everything we need in this house is already here. But if you don't know who you are, that is the hold up. If you don't know what you're capable of doing, that is the whole up. Let's, let, let me de direct from the vision right now and tell you what I mean. When you was born, God said, before the foundation of the world, he ordained you. He put something in you before you even went into your mother's womb. Before your mother's womb, the name that was given to you was already God sent that to your cousin, uncle, boo, whoever it was that said, name him or her that. That's why it's important for you to find out what your name means. God knew where you was going to be born, who was going to be your mama and your dad. I don't care if your mama and dad are drug addict or dealer or drunk. God knew there was something inside of them that you needed to be you. Who he wants you to be here on this earth. Amen. 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 God had a plan. And he said, see, we've been wondering what we need to do. It's in his will. If you want to know what he wants you to do, it's already been written. He said he sent you here for you to have a great life, make your name great, and be wealthy. Amen. The only reason Christian, and I'm sorry to say, black folks is still struggling because we messed up with unity. Man. Unification. Yes. We got the word. We got the spirit. We got that. But to unify and be on one accord. You see, pastors have a hard time with that. Oh yes, my God. Oh my God. You can say this. Hey, everybody got everybody know. Everybody know everything, but nobody know nothing. <laughs> yeah. Everybody know. Pastor, we need to do it like that. Pastor, we need to do it like that. Have you tried the way I said? Are you being committed for what you're supposed to be doing? In the beginning, God gave you everything that you needed. That's why he rested on the seventh day. God is not coming down to do anything for you. Nothing. God is not coming down to do anything for you. He sent his son to show you how to do what you need to do. His son ain't coming. His son, when his son comes back, it's going to be finished. Amen. He said, let thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Let thy 
by the truth. The kingdom, first of all, is in us. Amen. He that is in you is greater than anything in this world. Yes. Greater than your situation, greater than your circumstance, Amen. greater. That's why he showed them. When the wind blows, say peace be still. Yeah. When you start drowning, Peter, keep your eyes back on yes. me. You have to understand what he was telling them. When Jonah was disobedient, he put him in the well. We really be thinking that's a well, they sit in the well. Baby, that was oppression, boo-boo, stank, all that stuff. That means he was at his worst. Pressure. Pressure. God, one thing we do have, black folks, we know how to perform under pressure. We've been the most pressed down people in the world. But we just don't come together. If black folks and church folks, Christians, will do what everybody else is doing, we can take over territory oh, easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I was talking to a bunch of Muslims, they would just listen to what I say Amen. and go out and do it. And do it. They won't call Melba and say, you, you, you hear what she said? Is she crazy? No, no, no. They'll just do it. Amen. Just what Mary tried to tell the disciples when they went to the first miracle. She said, just do it. Amen. Nike didn't come up with that. Amen. Mary said, just do what he said. And watch God move in the first miracle. Truth be told, if he was China people, if with the head person tell them to do, they just do it. If I was talking to Jehovah's Witnesses, they still going two by two, knocking on the door, rain, sleep, or snow. They don't care whether you like them or not. They still are knocking on your door. Amen. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Listen to the visionary. I promise you. Even if the visionary gets wrong because you're obedient, God still bless you. Yes. Remember, we say everything falls down. So when you anoint your head with oil, when you pray for your head, whether it be your pastor, whether it be your husband, whether it be your um, boss, yes. even if you go on a job and boss is acting ugly, if you will pray for him or her, everything that they're supposed to get will flow down to you. Amen. And you might have been sent there to make a difference in their life. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. What does Matthew 7 and 7 say? Somebody stand and read, please. Ask God for what you need. Continue to ask God and God will give you, give it. Continue to ask and God will give it to you. Continue to search and you will find. Continue to knock and the door will, will open for you. Yes, whoever continues to ask will receive. Whoever continues to look will find. And whoever continues to knock will have the door open for them. Is that number seven? Amen. Is that Matthew seven yes. and Amen. seven? Amen. Double, double. Amen. Seven, seven. Amen. The person who's ordained to pray for me, that is a word from the Lord. I'm going to take that word and go do what it said. Amen. The doctor don't even know you at the hospital. You go to him, he needs a medicine, you take it. You sure will. He tell you to go to the room and take out clothes. Sure <laughs> you don't know who comes in that room. Right. But you get butt naked uh -huh. and wait for somebody you've never seen before. Tell them, first of all, what's wrong with you. See, the doctor don't know what's wrong with you. You have to tell.